All right, somebody uh, commented whether <clears throat> when you're in standard, uh, no, uh, low regenerative braking, which I'm just switching to, if uh, you coast, so watch when I let go of my power pedal, it goes about an inch, the green line goes about an inch to the left, and what they were wondering is um, if you need to press the brake, will instead of using the brake pad, would it uh, basically regenerate a little bit more, slowing you down, than uh, the stand, than the low setting to to slow you down uh, instead of using the brake pad? So watch if I. Uh, now press my brake pad, it does not go further than about an inch. And if I switch it now to um, standard regenerative braking, watch when I let go of my power pedal, it goes out fur much further, almost two inches, in a green line. And so I think that implies that when you're in low regenerative braking, you are not, you are going to use your brake pad much more to come to a stop and um, not have some additional regenerative braking slow you down. So I thought I'd just show you that. I'm pretty confident that that's what's going on here. You can watch, I'm going to come up to a turn. This is in standard regenerative braking. It definitely slows me down a lot in that turn. And I'll do the same thing here in low now. Coming up to another really sharp turn, so I'm going to have to slow down a lot. And it's not slowing down, and I am going to put some good foot on that brake to come to the speed that I needed to go to to make the turn. Um, in the previous example I just did, I really hardly put my foot on the brake. Uh, let me try it again here on a turn. So I got another big turn coming up here to the right. And I let go. And I took it a little fast, but I really didn't need to hit the brake. And I didn't hit the brake. Um, when you're in standard um, regenerative braking, uh, you really just don't touch the brake pedal very often. It's really pretty cool. It takes a little while to get used to when to let go of the brake or to throttle off the power pedal just right. But uh, here I'll do it again. And probably could have just throttled off there. I, I uh, jumped. The uh, difference with the Tesla in driving is that you don't bring your foot off the pedal real quickly. You can, but you a lot of times just feather it back and the regener regenerative braking engages. So uh, I'll just throttle back a little right now. Not off, my foot's not off the pedal. You can see it regener regenerating there. So as soon as you throttle back a little bit, uh, the regenerative braking kicks in and you start slowing down. If you bring your foot completely off, you get a whole bunch of, uh, almost like a downshift. And it is actually fun, you can, if you time it right, you can sort of like downshift or regenerative brake into a turn, which is pretty cool. Hey, thanks everybody. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and maybe a thumbs up or a comment would uh, might be much appreciated. Uh, I'm on my way to play some pickleball again. Here's my pickleball paddle. This is a pickleball paddle, if you have never seen one. And this is the pickleball ball. <laughs> it's like a wiffle ball. Uh, I am obsessed with pickleball. Very, very cool game. If you've never tried it, give it a try. And uh, if you have any ideas for um, a, a video uh, or you have some questions about the Tesla Model 3, feel free to put a comment in and I would be glad to uh, do a video for you. I'm always trying to think of ideas. I got this crazy idea of doing a video a day until I explode. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, uh, I need ideas. So any, any ideas you got, I'm all ears. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.
Thanks again for watching. If you're interested in any of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. Uh, my son's channel, The Nerd Writer, top left. Check it out. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.